I was looking through uh, my mother's collection of uh, antique rugby postcards, as in the town of rugby, not the game of rugby. Um, most are early 1900s, the first 10 years of the 20th century, or up to 1920, something like that. Anyway, I wanted to share some of the, um, the writing on the back. It's all very interesting looking at the pictures but uh, and the images and photos, but the, the, the stories on the back are, are fascinating in their own right. We're starting with this one here from 1905. You can see a, a cross on the house there, and then looking on the back of the postcard. Dear Madam, this is the house where Mrs Wood lives with an X on the step. I am still here, here spelled incorrectly. Uh, I have had a rise of one pound a year. Hoping you are all well. Hoping also not quite right. So uh, that's quite interesting that it's worth mentioning to someone you've got a pound a year rise in 1905. All right, moving to uh, 1920 for this one. The Morton Road. Just an interesting little slice of, of what people did in those days. Hard to read these uh, the writing on some of these cards. I arrived safely on Tuesday at 10.45 in Euston. Something Cricklewood, 12 o'clock. Oh, arrived Cricklewood, 12 o'clock. Had to wait to take the train and trams. This is the only postcard I have got. I'm going to a whist drive and a dance on Friday night. Love from Robert. One of rugby school, and it's just interesting that people did send these in order to collect them. Um, knowing that you collect postcards, I thought I would send you one. P.S. Excuse my writing, as this was done on the floor. Uh, Nineteen oh five, people were collecting the cards. Quite a few from hospitals as well, which seems an uh, odd thing to send a postcard, but it was the way of communicating in those days. Uh, people didn't want to give too many details on a, on, a, on a public space, so they tended to be a little bit um, oblique about what they were saying. Uh, this one is 1914. And it says, Dear Kitty, I am sorry to say Bertie is not so well. And they told mother when she went up on Saturday that, is that she or he? It looks like she. Yeah, and she could have anything she liked, which does not sound very bright, does it? So I don't know what's being talked about there. Is it the mother could have anything she liked, Bertie could have anything that he liked, but then why would it be she? Unless that's the way they wrote he in those days. Uh, is it somebody coming to the end of their life and so they can they can enjoy what they want? to eat or is it taking stuff away I don't know if anybody's got any ideas uh, please let me know but it's quite an interesting um, if rather sad slice of the time there postcard of a royal visit in 1907 Uh, I got on rather badly on Saturday. Think I would sooner have them cut. Spent ages trying to work out what that what would might might mean. I would sooner have them cut, cut off. What would you have cut? What would be preferable to having them cut to not having them cut? Don't understand that at all. I've had to pay him a visit this morning again. I think this is all a bit ambiguous to avoid um, someone someone reading what they were saying. I met. Miss Holmes there, she has been very poorly. Mr something met with an accident on Saturday, went up a ladder, it slipped, he came down, it has fractured his arm. He says it's very painful this morning. Hope you and are well. Had a postcard from Sutton Saturday. He is coming to rugby one day this week, have you heard? Another card with a cross over the house. 1913. Dear Mary, I told my s sister they called you Hutton in a mistake. 
I did not send cake with a card. I only got 25 and I should have had to get a further another 25 just for the sake of two or three as they're only sold in 25s, 50s and 75s. This is the street where I'm going to live. The cross is as near our house as I can tell you. They are nice houses. Um, it only made sense looking at the um, the little extra bit upside down. Tell me what you thought of my wedding. So this is clearly somebody who sent out wedding cake, uh, boxed, but you can only buy boxes in 25. So it wasn't a shortage of cake, it was a shortage of boxes, meaning this person didn't get a bit of cake. The next card, 1906, I can't really make out what's written on it very well. My dear somebody rather, Bertie is in something, will, oh, can't remember, I will uh, see you on Saturday, no, I will come on Saturday till Monday, St stay with me, so anyway, if you can make sense of that, fantastic. Um, 1906, I, I picked this one though because of the picture on it, Christ for the World, Wesleyan, Cambridge, Wesleyan Church, obviously Cambridge Street, Rugby Band of Hope, um, some very uh, weird and wonderful faces on these people. Um, none of them look particularly happy. But at the top you've got people in blackface. And I did wonder what that was about. Uh, it seems to be quite a long tradition within um, Morris dancing and that kind of thing. But why that would be part of the uh, work for Christ, I don't know. Whether there's some kind of racist undertone there, or overtone in fact. Or whether it's something to do with the history of um, the, the Morris dancing. Apparently people were blacking up hundreds of years ago uh, to disguise themselves, um, sometimes to beg, uh, sometimes as the, the, the fun of it. So I don't know, I'd be fascinated if anybody knows why there would be two men, I suppose, blacked up with feathers uh, in their hats uh, as part of a religious group. Just for fun, found this one in the box as well, a bit of uh, early Photoshop equivalent of pre-digital. No, I, I would have thought that's 19, well, that camera's probably 1940s, certainly not much later than that as a Christmas a Christmas card sent out to people. The halls have gone miniature but their wishes for Christmas are just as hearty as ever. So obviously it advertises the, the shop as well there. Another house with a cross on it. Winfield Street Rugby in 1908 and I picked this one not so much for the message which I don't think says anything particularly interesting hope to see you again on holiday when you when do you have them did you not I don't think there's anything interesting on that it's a bit in the corner Rugby Seacross Hower House and that was interesting. I wonder why they'd written Howe House. And it was my mum that explained it to me that uh, uh, people in those days, and maybe not so very long ago, were worried uh, that they were dropping their H's, that they were showing themselves to be common, like hotel rather than hotel. Uh, and so uh, people who were not sure which was the right way to say it would overcompensate and would, rather than our house, they were afraid to say our house, so ended up saying Howe House. And it was quite common, apparently. And my great-grandmother, whose name was Ellen, called herself Helen all her life because she was afraid that if she said Ellen, people might think that she was dropping her H on the Helen. So to avoid that, she just called herself Helen. So there we are. A little bit of, um, little bit of fascinating history there with Howe House. Rugby Houston Works. Uh, uh, sorry, Rugby British Thompson. Houston Works in 1904, I think that date is there. I love this one. Thanks for sending those socks, but I do not recognise them. Wow, so maybe somebody was staying with somebody and then they got the socks sent to them on the assumption that they belonged to them, but they didn't. That's all I can think of that. Cattle Market Rugby.
1906. Many happy returns of the day. Just look at this picture and see if you can find the best man under the sun. Much love, white rabbits. So is that a young man to his lady? And saying he's in the picture? White rabbits. We'll never know. Great, that's it. I hope you enjoyed those. I'll, I'll do some more in the coming weeks.